Hello everybody, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's take a walk and see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer, uh, it's got BBE March 15th of the date up on here. Then it's got a code underneath here in the time it looks like. But I guess this was put in the bottle in March 15th. This is Skull Splitter. 5,000 years in the making it says. The Orange Key Brewery. And I believe they're out of Scotland, guys. Let's see, Skull Spitter takes its name from Thorn Finn House Scout, the seventh the seventh Viking Earl of Ornkey. Sophisticated, satiny smooth with a deceptive light character. It is a tribute to our colorful forebear. On the nose, this robust beer has a fruity malt character with hints of dark fruits, spicy hops, dates, and figs. And on the palate, the sweet toasted malt creates a rich and complex character of molasses, fresh and fresh and dried fruits with hints of warming spices. Brewed in the UK. All right, guys. Very interesting label there. Got the Viking on there. Uh, I just picked it up because it had skull splitter on it. Uh, it is a 8.5% ABV Scotch Ale slash We Heavy is in the style. Availability is year round. The food pairings for this, the cheeses are the buttery, the breed of Gouda, Havarti Swiss, and the meat is smoked meat salmon. Glassworth's pint, Becker, and Stein, the mug, a tumbler, the snip of the tooth. I got the Dougal glass to get today, guys. Uh, that's what we're going to use. And being uh, a beer that big, I would say it's going to sell her fairly well. Uh, I wouldn't think of any reason why it would not sell it very well. So, with that being said, uh, I, mean, I told you where they're out of uh, Scotland. Let's get the cap off of this one and see what the skull splitter has got to offer, guys. Alrighty. There, so you can see it. Over to the light. It is a very, very bronze, coppery color, guys. Fairly clear. I can see the light right through there. A lot of bubbles streaming up from the bottom of it, reinforcing the head, the little head that it did pour. Poured it fairly aggressive, and you get a whole lot. It's just barely covering the top of the beer now. Good looking beer. Almost has a slight red tint to it, too, also. A coppery reddish tint. Good looking beer. Let's get a nose on it. I'm getting just a little bit of caramel and toffee and some dark fruit there too. Uh, there is some dark fruit. Uh, maybe some raisins or figs like you said on the label. Very sweet smelling. Very delicious smelling I may add. Yes, it smells very sweet on the nose guys. A lot of uh, darker fruit. Figs, dates, raisins. But I am getting a little bit of the alcohol. Like I said, this is an eight and a half percent. So let's see what it tastes like, guys. Cheers. Definitely got the alcohol there. I am getting the alcohol, and that's just going to intensify a little bit as it gets warmer. Figs, raisins. There's some spiciness to that. I'm getting some grapes in there too. It seems just a little boozy to me, guys. I'm—I uh, know it's eight and a half, but I'm getting 
every bit of eight and eight, eight and a half to that one too, guys. So we're gonna let it warm up. It's just right out of the fridge. A lot of dark fruit going on here. Maybe a little molasses in there too. So we'll see where it says. I'm on the fence right now. Stick around. All right, guys. I'm back. Got just a little bit more than just a little bit. So I'm gonna hit this one more time. From the website, guys. This is the strongest beer that they make. Very tasty. Let me read you what it's got here. Strong as hell, named after the thorn fin, which I read earlier. On the nose, the beer has a fruity malt character with hints of dark fruit, spicy hop dates and figs. I agree with that 100%. That could not be more accurate. On the palate, rich and complex, sweet toasted malt, molasses, fresh and dried fruit, and hints of warming spices. Agreed. Uh, that is exactly how I would describe this beer. Uh, it is very delicious. I am getting the figs, the dates, uh, the darker fruits. It's very delicious, guys. Uh, it's very tasty. Uh, that being said, uh, final chug on the skull splitter. My skull's not splitting. It's delicious. More alcohol presence now that it's warmed up. It's been 30 minutes or so. Very tasty though. Very, very tasty. Guys, uh, and this, this, like I said, this comes from Scotland. This is with 11.2 uh, foot ounces, which is the 330 milliliter. And that's got, like I said, the BBE March 15th. So I'm pretty sure that's probably when this was put in the bottle. It doesn't, and then that code probably has something that does matter. I didn't see anything on the website here that has any kind of uh, being able to decipher the date codes on their beers here. So. Uh, looks like a, looks like a winner here. Uh, let me see. Key ingredients: the very best pale, pale ale malt, and plenty of it, together with crystal and chocolate malt, provide a rich, fruity backbone, which is balanced by the spicy herbal character of the East Kent Golding's hops. So, that's what they use to make this beer, guys. Uh, very delicious beer. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it to. Uh, I'm gonna give it to you nine. It's 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 a ten beer as far as I'm concerned. I like a better date code, uh, but it's uh, it's decent. Uh, it's, at least it's got something on there and don't have nothing on there or, or something that you can't decipher. So I'm pretty sure that this is uh, gonna, gonna tell me March fifteenth. And as far as the year, with it being eight <laughs> eight and a half percent, I don't think it's gonna go bad. So. I still like to have just a little bit, a little bit more information than that on there. Go ahead, put the year on there. With that being said, like I said, guys, we're going to give it that. Uh, rate beer has 95 overall and 89 in the style, and beer average comes up with 91, which is in their exceptional range. So uh, I don't know if I'd go exceptional, but it's it's an A beer, and I'm going to give it that grade, guys. So if you've had the Skull Splitter out of Scotland, give me some comments back on this and let me know you liked it, loved it, couldn't stand it. Uh, it's a decent beer. Uh, I, I enjoyed it. So, guys, come on back tomorrow. Let's see what's in the fridge. In hope it's just as good as this. Hope my skull ain't splitting in the morning. <laughs> see y'all tomorrow.